So Boulder is that way, apparently, about 20 minutes. Canarado? Oh, that's so dumb. That reminds me of Texoma or Texarkana. So lame. All right, goodbye, Colorado. Hey, I mean, it's not very exciting to be in Kansas, but hey, it's a new state in this rig anyway, so. It counts, right? <laughs> welcomes you by saying, hey, weary travelers, you may stay at our welcome center overnight. So that's what I'll be doing in six minutes and 42 seconds. Hmm. Cool. A dump station. Sweet. Well, I'm kind of confused, but... Okay. Oh, look, there's my RV. That's the RV that I want. <laughs> Should I go ask him if he wants to trade? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's just park over here on the side. I guess you're just supposed to park over here? No parking on the grass? Um, okay. Well, I guess I'll just park right here then. Weird. Alrighty. I see you! <laughs> Where's Jesse? <laughs> there he is! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, really? Morning! I don't know why I'm so chipper. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, but that was a lovely stay at that welcome center. Oh man, there's a nice wind going on today. Oh, it's nice. It's not even 10 o'clock. Trying to enjoy the weather before it gets hot. It's supposed to be a high of 99 today. Um, and I probably have about <clears throat> four hours of driving today. -ish. But. Uh, yeah, yesterday we did, I think, four hours as well. We were in Boulder. No, we were south of Boulder. And then we drove all the way to Kansas. So that was a lot of driving for us for one day. But today is the week, well, this is the week of America's birthday, or America's Independence Day. And so I want to get somewhere at a nice spot and get settled so that I can celebrate and relax and work on some videos. So I'm going to go to a state park to, to, to achieve that, which is, you know, it's, get this. Okay, so remember when I was stressing out and I couldn't find a place to camp and I had to pay $20 for a campground just for one night? <laughs> $20 dispersed in Colorado, of course, uh, in the summer. So rates are going to be higher, right? Here at the state park, not full hookups, but electric water and then a dump station, which is standard for a, a state park, that, which is fine. I have no issue with that. But um, yeah, anyway, so sorry, I got distracted by that sign. Looking for a sign? Here it is! Okay. <laughs> Who knew that I could be distracted in Flat Plains, Kansas? Anyway, okay. So, it cost 
$18 a night for electric at a state park with the clearest water in Kansas, Wilson Lake. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be staying a few days. Um, we'll see. Yeah. I got to make a, a good balance of me blabbering and talking to you and showing you what I'm seeing. <clears throat> a lot of my videos, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of my videos seem to portray just the beauty that I see and not really what's going on with me or showing you me. So I'm trying to make a good balance of that because um, I know a lot of people aren't into nature and scenery. Some why, I don't know, but some people just like to get to know the person behind the camera. So I'm trying to do that more and let you guys see my wonderful personality and my wonderful sense of humor, even though some of you don't like it. Okay, that's enough for me. Let's focus on the road. Okay, well, um, I drove about 20, 25 minutes off of I-70 and the sign says it is seven miles down this dirt road. Dirt road is in great condition though. And I'm hoping that these rocks are gonna be worth this long drive. <laughs> we'll see. It's gonna be worth it, it's gonna be worth it, it's gonna be worth it. Oh my god, I still don't see them. <laughs> Jeez. Yay, we made it, there they are. I think I'm the only one here. <laughs> Shocking, right? I had no idea that this was in Kansas, did you? It's the eighth, one of the eighth wonders of Kansas. I didn't even know that there was other wonders. But Kansas used to be under the ocean, which is wild to think about. So let me park and let's go explore. Over 100 million years ago, Kansas was covered by a vast ocean. Dramatic natural features such as monument rocks are remains of that ancient seabed. Since the 1870s, fossil hunters have searched the chalk beds and limestone hillsides of the Smoky Hill River region for the remains of ancient creatures. They have made some of the most significant discoveries in North American paleontology. Among the most astonishing finds were flying reptiles with a 30-foot wingspan. They surprised the scientists because unlike other flying reptiles, their beaks and hollow bones seem to make them ancestors of birds. Layers in this. Oh, shit. Apparently, there's supposed to be some fossils, but I don't know where they are, if they're on this one or the other one. Here we are at the second one. Phew. It is warm today. Thank God for that breeze. 